Welcome back. So let's get started with our Python calculator. Now before we start actually writing anything, we're going to go ahead and install some required modules that we're going to need to use for this series. Now if you don't already know what a module is, pretty much it's where somebody else, usually either the people who created Python or some uh, third party source, writes some code and then you can actually include it and use it in your own project. So there's a lot of stuff that's really high level or it's very advanced and things that we can't usually interact with. So for example, in, in this series, we're going to be using uh, the sys module, which is going to allow us to interact with the system. So we can exit the application and everything through the code. So that's one of the most useful features. Now, pretty much we're going to import these modules using a special um, bit of text that we can put in. And then we're going to start using them throughout the series. So let's go ahead and start importing our modules. Now the first one we're going to use, as I said, is the sys module. So all you have to do to import a module is type import and then the name. So in this case, you're going to type sys. Now there's no quotation marks around it or anything. It's just standard import and then sys. And once you type that, it's going to import our um, application. Now there are many different variations of how you can do this. So for example, if you want to give it a name, you can say import sys as system, for example, or A or B, it can be pretty much anything that you want. And there's also another way to type it. So you can say from sys. So from this module, you only want to import a few things. Now, because usually modules have multiple functions or things that you can do to them, if you only want a very specific part of it, you can say this. And for example, let's just say from sys import exit. Now, sys.exit is one of the many different things that come in that, um, come in that module. And of course, you know, there are many different other ones, but in this case, we're only going to be using the exit um, the exit part of our module here. So you can also do that if you want to import everything into the namespace. So what I mean by that is because it's all classified under this one sys variable, you'd have to type something like sys dot and then whatever you want here. But what you can actually do is bring it into your main main space. So for example, sys dot ABC would end up turning into just ABC. So basically you're just taking it out of that um, namespace. So namespace, like I said, is just um, something that contains a bunch of things in it and bring it into your local main, uh, namespace. So you can use it without having to put any anything behind it. So you can also do that. And in order to, if you want to do it for everything, you can just put a star right there. So that's enough for the modules. I'm just going to say import sys as a whole. And that is pretty much the only module we're going to use because the rest of it is going to be written by us. And if we do need to, uh, you know, import any modules for something very specific, we can always go through and um, add it to our project later. All right, let's move on.